Hi, it's Harvard Lawyer Lee. Tonight I want to talk about a case that's a cold case, but suddenly not so cold. I want to talk about the disappearance of Kristen Smart. Kristen disappeared 25 years ago in 1996. She was originally from Germany, but when she disappeared, she was 19 and a freshman at Caltech in San Luis Obispo, California. Yesterday, actually Monday, um, depending on when you're hearing this, um, Monday, March 15th, 2021, police executed a search warrant at the home of Ruben Flores. Now, Ruben Flores is not, so far as we know, suspected of anything in connection with the disappearance of Christian, Kristen Smart, but his son may be. His son has been called a person of interest. That's Paul Flores. Paul was the last person seen with Kristen Smart before she disappeared. So the police executed a search warrant. Now wait, stop, what's that? What's a search warrant? A search warrant is an order from a judge that gives the government the right to go in and search a place that's otherwise private, like a home or a business. In order to get a search warrant, the government has to go in and show, show that they have some reason to believe they're going to get evidence if they go into the place. So what happened to Kristen Smart? Well, here's what is known. A lot is not known. What is known is that on uh, the last night she was seen, she went to a birthday party over Memorial Day weekend. Two students, Cheryl Anderson and Tim Davis, both of whom had also been at the birthday party, said they found her passed out on a neighbor's lawn. They helped her get up and were going to walk her back to her dorm. Paul Flores came up and offered to join the group and to help get her back to her dorm. Well, as the group walked toward uh, Kristen Smart's dorm, they passed the dorm for the two other students. So both of them peeled off, went to their dorms and left Paul Flores with Kristen Smart. Paul Flores says he went back to his dorm and uh, that was on the way to her dorm. So he stopped, went in at his dorm and let her continue the way to her dorm by herself. That was the last time Kristen Smart was seen. At that point, she disappeared in the thin air. She had no money, she had no credit cards with her, and she was never seen again. Now, various searches have taken place since then, many over, over time. Uh, a couple of important ones were on January 29th, 2020, the police confiscated two trucks that Flores owned as evidence. Uh, seven days later, the San Luis Obispo Police Department served warrants at four different places looking for specific items of evidence. They didn't give any more information than that. Then, about a month ago, on February 11th, 2021, Paul Flores was arrested by the Los Angeles Police Department. He was arrested on suspicion of being a felon in possession of a firearm. He has a felon, it's, now here's what that means. Um, he has a felony DUI on his record, apparently. And so he was not allowed to have a firearm. Now what is a felony DUI? Under California law, it typically means that he either, uh, one of these things, had uh, four DUIs on his record in the last 10 years, that he had a prior felony DUI, or uh, that he actually was involved this time in an accident where someone was injured or killed while he was um, under impairment, while he was driving DUI. So less than a month after Paul Flores was arrested, and he did bond out from those charges, less than a month later, police uh, have executed a warrant at his father's home. They used yellow tape to block off the home, and then they took in cadaver-sniffing dogs and ground-penetrating radar. They were searching the property for clues or perhaps even the body of Kristen Smart. The dogs also searched an older model Volkswagen located on the property, and then the police took that vehicle away, towed it away. But the search warrant was sealed. Now, what does that mean? What that means is that uh, the state of California had to file documents, um, because they always do, in order to explain to the judge why they wanted to do the search. But 
at some point, the judge or the government asked that the documents be sealed, meaning they would not be public. Well, what does that mean? Most court documents are public. They're considered to belong to all of us. They're information that we all have the right to see and to know. But when a document gets sealed, the judge says, I'm only going to let certain people see this. We don't know the reasons because as I said, it was sealed. So we don't really know why the judge decided that it was necessary. We just know that it happened. Now, if you have information about the disappearance of Kristen Smart, up to $175,000 has been offered in rewards. The FBI has offered a $75,000 reward for information leading to finding her or to resolving the case. In 2016, a man, a local man in that area offered an additional 100,000. I don't know whether that offer is still good, but it may be. Will all of these searches coupled with the rewards finally get some answers for the family of Kristen Smart? We certainly hope so. Thanks, I'm Harvard Lawyer Lee, and if you would like to hear more about the case of Kristen Smart, if you'd like to hear updates when the police release information about her, or if you'd like to hear about more cold cases and searches, please subscribe to this channel and give me a comment below so I know this is the content that you like. Thanks.